Hi guys, and thanks for joining me for today's video. Now, if you're like me, you've experienced some problems when you upload your photos to Facebook. And there's nothing more annoying than going out and taking a picture with your phone or your camera. You're really proud of that image. You wanna share it with your family and friends. And then you come across compression issues on Facebook. This is where the quality of your image is just not the same as it was when you took it with your camera. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some simple steps that you can apply before you upload your photo to Facebook that are gonna make all the difference. They're actually going to mean that your Facebook quality of the image which is uploaded is gonna be almost the same as what it is when you come out of camera. And I know for a lot of people out there, that could make all the difference. It did to me, and fortunately now, I get the best quality that I know I can when I upload my images to Facebook. So that's what we're gonna do in today's uh, video. If you're interested in it, then keep watching. And this is gonna be a short video. It's gonna be about two to two and a half minutes long. And hopefully it's gonna answer all your questions. Okay guys, let's jump in and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and make these quick changes to your image so you're gonna get the best quality when uploading to Facebook. The first thing you wanna start by doing is making sure that your image is the best quality probably sounds like the most obvious thing that you've heard today, but what you put in, you get out. So you need to put in a great image to get out a great looking image on Facebook. Now that you've done that, you wanna move up to File, you wanna come down to Export, and finally Export As. And when this window opens, it's gonna give you all the options that you can change to ensure that you get the best quality when uploading to Facebook. The first place you want to start is file settings and this gives you your format. Now I found that instead of using JPEG, using PNG is better. Now some people might disagree with this and some people will agree with it. Now my thought process behind this is that if you use a JPEG, you're actually compressing the quality of the image and then Facebook then compresses it again into a JPEG form. So I'm thinking that potentially you get two compressions going on and this creates less quality in your final image. Whereas PNG is a lossless format, which means that in theory, you should only get one form of compression going on and that's just in Facebook. Now I've actually trialed this with JPEG and PNG and I can see the difference using PNG. Now this is me, you feel free to try this yourself, but this is what works for me and what I've noticed. The next thing you wanna focus on is image size. Facebook clearly states that you've got three widths they advise you use if you wanna get the best quality when uploading. And they are 2048, 960, and 720 pixels. They're the three that it recommends that you should use. The next step is to go to resample. I found that the option to use here is preserve details. It preserves the details the best. And so when you're actually uploading it to Facebook, you've got the details as best quality as you can. You wanna skip canvas size because you don't wanna actually change that at all. And metadata, that's something you can change personally, but that's not gonna affect the quality. The final step is to change the color space if you need to. So for instance, if you were on embed color profile, you'd wanna make sure that you change it to convert to sRGB. There's a couple of reasons for this. sRGB displays the proper range of colors in your photo on Facebook, and it also displays it correctly across all browsers. So you're not gonna be using one browser and it's gonna be displaying some faded colors because it hasn't got the right conversion. Okay, that's it guys. They are the simple steps that you need to take to ensure that you get the best quality when uploading to Facebook. So that's it. It's actually really easy, isn't it? It's really not too difficult. And if you do these few steps that you've just watched, then you're guaranteed to get the best quality that you can when you're uploading your photos to Facebook. I really hope this video has been helpful or useful to any of you watching. If it has, you could do a couple of things to just make my day. One of them is to just leave me a comment, let me know what you thought about the video, or even just ask any questions. 
And the other is if you're feeling very generous, you could always treat me to a coffee. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, give it a thumbs up. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.